Hey, welcome to something that's never been done on the internet before. That's a uh, white guy sits in his car and talks to his phone for anywhere from 30 seconds to an hour and a half. Uh, currently, this is in a 1987 Porsche 924S. Guards red because, just like everybody else, I'm unique. Um, we are currently in the first month of ownership over two thousand dollars or so in bills real fast i'll show you the inside i'll show you what i'm currently working on and then a little quick tour of the uh body work before the sun sets as you can see it's got plenty of damage to the front hood doesn't really match up What's interesting that I've found is there's clearly an indent, so it looks like it's probably over tightened. Definitely something to play around with, try to get that back together. You can actually see the little housing for the rear hatch. This camera angle is probably super nauseating. But I don't really care, this is more just proof of concept showing that the vehicle exists. For some reason, the shifter linkage is filled with what looks like dog hair or something like that. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. After a good 15-20 minutes of vacuuming, it still looks like it just crawled out of the desert. 63,000 miles on the dash. Carfax says 163. Speaking of the dashboard, this is cracked. I'm gonna probably get one of those nice little dash covers. That could use some alignment. This could use some glue. The seats are in decent shape. The rear is even worse in terms of dirt and debris. Got a little bit, no, wrong way little bit of damage to that some more damage to the other side ac works heat works windshield wipers kind of work i'm not in gear i am going to start the vehicle has not been started all day one thing i love about old cars is you can just So here's what I'm talking about with the wood shield wipers. They just kind of stay there. Oh. Well, that's weird. Usually they at least kind of work. Oh, there we go. Definitely some gremlins in the wiring, but that's not too big. Only one of these window switches works, which is nice because you can just pop it off, put it on the other one. So I do have two power windows. Um, I was trying to figure out why my latch doesn't work. For some reason, these latches look like they're on too tight. As you can see, it's gouging the paint. Whoever owned it before me um, did a real bang up job with the silicone putty. You can see the little, the arms, look like they should latch in place and the second i close this i'm not able to open it with the key but with the hatch up you can actuate the little hood not hood but trunk release some of the other issues with this car are faded clear coat a dent right there bigger dent right here headlights don't go down i know that's just gonna be the little relay that goes right there but for right now it drives that's messed up i suspect when they hit the deer or fence dog small child whatever it was that they hit to cause such damage it was never reported to their insurance 
I suspect if it was, and insurance found something like that, um, this car should be a salvage vehicle. It's a clean title, but I don't really care. I'm just going to continue to drive it until it blows up or I... or I am unable to drive anymore. Came with a little sunroof bag. I don't know if I'll ever use that. Definitely needs an alignment. These tires are shot. Front two are pretty okay, but never heard of TSW wheels. And quite frankly, I think these are rather tacky. So probably never use those either. Who knows? I may be prejudiced, but every time I see wire like this in a project car I buy, I just know somehow that the previous owner was probably not the best in terms of maintenance and reliability, especially when you see electrical tape instead of proper cable connector connectors. I don't know. We'll see. As I stated earlier, the 924 and 944 platforms are great cars and they have a reputation of being rather inexpensive and they handle great with the drawbacks of being they're very expensive to get serviced at a shop, they're complex, and they're slow as shit. Which is fine, um, but you get a bunch of people who buy these $1,500 Porsches, do a bunch of stupid mods to them that don't actually help anything, and then they sell them for $2,500 to an idiot like me who decides that they're going to daily one of these again. If I ever remember to make a second video, it's never going to have one of those little like clickbait YouTube thumbnails where it's like, or whatever it is that gets views these are if no one sees that i'd be completely happy with it um and if people do i'm gonna have to train myself to not blink so that the entire video is me talking in this god-awful monotone voice and staring at you that being said to the maybe one person who accidentally watches this and the uh 1.32 Russian bots that might click on this. Have a good one. With my limited knowledge of filmmaking, movies, and other such media, I took a few classes in college. I was told I need to add B-roll, so here's me drilling a hole into this um, wink undosed seltzer it's like a weed drink but i get it undosed because i take no joy in this life there you go